Hello everyone, welcome back to chapter 7, focusing on word stress and numbers, nouns, and verbs. Here we're going to talk about the rules for word stress and numbers. Have you ever <laughs> been shopping and you ask someone the price of something and they said it's 50 bucks? And you say, wait, 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 15 or 50, <laughs> right? Or how much do you make an hour? I make 40 bucks an hour. 14 or 40, right? Big difference between those two. And so here's the rule for word stress and numbers. Teen numbers are usually stressed on that final syllable, that second syllable, the teen syllable. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So you can clearly hear that that second syllable, the teen, is the one that's emphasized, right? That that vowel sound is longer and it's more pronounced. It's stronger than the first syllable. Now on the other hand, uh, numbers uh, in the tens place, numbers in the tens place like 30, 40, 50, so on, are usually stressed on the first syllable. So for example, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now notice that the T consonant sound for these, while it's a really clear T consonant sound for the teens, Thirteen, t, t, fourteen, t, t, fifteen. Pretty clear the T sound for the teens, but if you look again at the numbers in the tens place, uh, the T does not sound like a T. Thirty, forty, fifty. That has a D final consonant sound. D, d, d. 60, 70, 80. D, d. Pretty interesting. So that could be another way to help you remember if the final consonant sound, the final consonant sound for T numbers is a voiceless T. T, t, t. No vibration, right? On the other hand, the final consonant sound, final, last consonant sound, for numbers in the tens place is a voiced vibration D. Da, 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 4D, 5D, 6D, 7D, D. You can hear and feel that voiced uh, D final consonant sound. So that can help you guys, and hopefully it'll help you with that exercise four on the next page, which we'll go ahead and do right now.